Welcome to today's video, where I'm gonna be sharing with you another potential use case for chat GPT in project management. Now, I've logged into my account here, uh, and it's just important to note that I do have a premium account. So I am paying $20 per month in order to access some of the functionality in this video. Now, you don't have to, you could sign up for free. Bear in mind, you will be on the default GPT uh, system. GPT-4 is a new advanced model, and that's what I'll be using here today. And I would recommend that you do so if you're looking for um, some better uh, results from the different um, prompts that you give the tool. So just bear that in mind. I will dri drop a link in the description below to access ChatGPT. If you already have an account, then you can get started. You might just need to quickly create one um, before you do this. But what I wanna do here today is just show you um, how I am using uh, Chat GPT in a, an, another aspect in terms of my project management uh, career. So, as I say, I'm going to select Chat GPT for the model. Um, now, what you can do is you can ask Chat GPT uh, to provide you with example questions for upcoming uh, certifications that you may be taking. So, in the context of Prince 2, you could ask the, the tool. Provide me with 10 practice questions for the Prince 2 foundation exams. Now I'm gonna hit uh, go. And you'll notice that it's gonna start generating questions for me to answer, which I could use in preparation for the exam, specifically the foundation exam as I've specified here. So ChatGPT4, the model is currently a little bit slow, slower than ChatGPT3.5, just bear that in mind. So it is going, you know, it's taking its time, but the purpose of me using this particular model is that the output is considered much better quality. The data set it pulls from is, is more expanded as well. So I would, I think it's worth the wait, but do consider that, you know, I believe if you're doing the Prince 2 course, you get two exam papers, um, which you can use to practice. But beyond that, I've come to realize that there's not many resources out there uh, for um, practice questions, unless you go to somewhere like Etsy and you're having to pay like 20 pounds for them. Um, so this is entirely free version of it. As I say, ChatGPT4 mains, I'm paying for this privilege, but you don't have to use ChatGPT4, you can always go to three and a half. So these are all being generated. Now, if we look at some of these, what are the seven principles of Prince 2 project management? Um, you know, these are really, really good questions. Uh, they're involving uh, the principles, the theme, um, we've got the the process. So it's, it's looking at the whole curriculum. Um, if I just go over to this Wikipedia page, um, I've actually taken, I'm a Prince 2 practitioner myself. The reason I've opened up this Wikipedia page is because it just quick, quickly and clearly defines the different aspects. So the principles, the themes, uh, etc. Uh, the processes. So in that example, um, what is the purpose of Prince2 initiating a project process? Uh, initiating a project is one of the processes. So we can see that this is very, very accurate, which is great. Obviously, it's going to be required if you're going to use this in, in, in terms of exam prep. But you see how this is really, really useful. It is still generating. It is taking its time. I'm actually going to stop it just to show you how you can use the tool. So of course, you could answer all these, you could copy and paste these into a Word document, you would literally uh, use your mouse, you can use Shift on your keyboard, you can press Control C, and you can open up a Word document, Control V and put them in it. And then you've got, to, you know, you can print it off. Um, you know, so you could do that. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I know the answers are correct? Well, that can be your next prompt. So please always be, be uh, polite, you don't have to put use the word please. Please provide the answers to these questions. And again, um, it's going to give you the question, so number one, and the answer is C. So once you've done it, you can put this in and um, this will give you the answers you need. So you can test to see if you've understood the concepts or picked up the knowledge. Now, I'm not gonna run through all of this in the interest of time, so I'm gonna stop generating. I just wanna show you a couple of other prompts that you could do if you are, um, revising for this particular exam. Of course, the initial prompt, we went for the foundation. So you could switch this out 
if you're doing the practitioner, you could literally just do that. Um, and it should be there. Um, you could even say, so that's another prompt. So you could do that one. And it's gonna give you questions this time more tailored towards the more advanced version of the exam. So we could let that run. Of course, it's gonna give us 10 more based on what uh, I've asked it. Let's say it's given us the 10 and that's that prompt is completed. You could say something like, like give me 15 more. And what's gonna happen, I might have stopped it too early, but it's gonna, yeah, it's literally gonna continue from 16 because we didn't finish this prompt. It's gonna continue giving us questions. So a lot of the practice exams are around 60 questions. Um, so, you know, you could, you could literally, you could literally just go provide uh, me with a mock Prince to foundation exam with 60 questions. So that's an example. Uh, which you can use as well. So that's another prompt. I will drop these prompts in the description below if you just want to copy and paste them into ChatGPT. So this is going to start with that first one again. I believe that's a, um, a copy of the, the first question, that, uh, the first prompt I gave it. So one thing I'd just like to quickly just show you is I've gone to a couple of different websites just for some um, practice questions, just to show you, um, you know, how kind of, just to show you how kind of accurate this is in terms of what it's giving you. Well, what I like here is in Prince 2, all the questions, you always have four options, A to D. And as you can see, it follows this format, which is obviously essential to the exam. Um, but it also gets, um, you know, what we could do here, let's actually, let's test the system. Let's say, uh, what is the answer to the Prince 2 question and let's just see what happens I'm testing this but this is another potential use case um, let's see what it does here we go it's generating okay so it's given us B now let's refer back to that op back to that um, question now of course we didn't give it the options but it's pulled out the answer business case this is the correct answer to this question, which I've pulled from a different resource. So you can see the accuracy of the tool. You can see how you could perhaps use Prince, uh, you could use ChatGPT to answer, to, to find out the questions to, uh, find out the question, find out the answers to already asked questions. So yeah, just a really, really useful tool. I don't wanna go on any longer in this video. I think it's long enough, but you get the idea how I'm using ChatGPT to prepare for project management exams. And hopefully you can do the same. So. If you've got the Prince2 exam coming up, then perhaps you could explore this. Maybe you're on your way there, you could do it on, the, on your phone on the way, uh, or maybe you just want to do it at home. But nevertheless, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue releasing videos like this, and do consider subscribing to my channel. If you head over to my channel, I've got other videos on using chat GPT in project management, along with a whole host of other videos and playlists on project management training in general, whether that's methodology, processes, templates, and more. So with all of that said, I hope you have an excellent day.